Hi dear students, this particular class I am going to discuss about what is an even function, what is an odd function. Based on that even function and odd function, we are going to discuss few applications. First of all, what is an even function? A function f of x is said to be an even function. f of minus x is equals to f of x for all x. f of minus x is equals to f of x for all x. Then the function is said to be an even function. At the same time, f of minus x is equals to minus f of x for all x. Then the function is said to be an odd function. You can observe here. I am taking an example here, a simple example. f of x is equal to cos x. Now tell me what is f of minus x? f of minus x is equal to cos of minus x. You know cos of minus theta is cos theta, so it becomes f of x. So f of minus x is equal to we got f of x. Therefore, this function is said to be an even function. At the same time, another example you can take here. F of x is equal to a simple example sin x. Now find out f of minus x. F of minus x is equal to sin of minus x. You know sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin theta. That is equal to minus f of x. Therefore, we can say this function is an odd function. In the similar way, we can check about the function f of x is equal to x square is an even function, and here also we can check f of x is equal to x cube is also an odd function. Okay, now even function and odd function. What is geometrical interpretation? How can we interpret it geometrically? Just you can observe the graph of f of x is equal to cos x. Just I am drawing the graph of f of x is equals to cos x. This is the graph of cos x up to three pi by two. I have written both the drawn it up both sides. This is the graph of f of x is equals to cos x. If you observe the graph properly, if you observe the graph properly, this is y axis. You can observe if you feel y-axis as a mirror, it's a reflection or not? That means the graph is symmetric about y-axis. That means even function graph is even function graph is symmetric about y-axis. At the same time, I hope so. Everyone know the graph of f of x is equal to x square, right? This is the graph of f of x is equal to x square. So even function graph is symmetric about y axis. At the same time, come back to here. You know about the graph of f of x is equal to sin x. Sin x graph between zero to two pi and between. Minus two pi to zero. That is the graph of sine x. But here, what can you say by observing the graph? You can observe the graph in the first quadrant. How the graph? Third quadrant also same. In the fourth quadrant, how the graph? Second quadrant also same. That means the graph is symmetric about symmetric in opposite quadrants. I can say the graph is symmetric about origin. So even function at the same time you can observe here you know the graph of f of x is equal to x cube. So this is the graph of f of x is equal to x cube. Here also the graph is symmetric in opposite quadrants. That means the graph is symmetric about origin. So even function graph is symmetric about y-axis. That means even function graph is symmetric about the line x is equal to zero. Even function graph is symmetric about the line x is equal to zero. That is nothing but y-axis. Whereas odd function graph is symmetric in opposite quadrants, or we can say it is symmetric about origin. So based on this information, just I will try to discuss a few applications about. Whether the given function is an even function or odd function. Before going to discuss, observe here. I am taking one function f of x. The other function is 
the f of minus x. This function is always this function is always an even function. At the same time, f of x, the other one I am taking minus f of minus x. This function is always odd function. f of x plus f of minus x is always an even function. f of x minus f of minus x is always odd function. Just you can observe here. Let us take this one as some h of x. Come on, tell me what is h of minus x? h of minus x is equal to f of minus x plus f of minus of minus x. That's why it becomes f of x. That is equal to h of x only. So we got h of minus x is equal to h of x. So we can say the function is an even function. At the same time here you can observe I am taking this function as g of x. g of x is equal to f of x minus f of minus x. Now find out g of minus x. g of minus x is equal to f of minus x minus f of x. Here if you take minus common, if you are taking minus common, you will get f of x minus f of minus x. Now this is nothing but minus g of x. Alright, we got g of minus x is equal to minus g of x. So the function is an odd function. So from this we can say f of x can be expressed as f of x plus f of minus x divided by 2 plus f of x minus f of minus x divided by 2. So this is an even function and this is an odd function. That means every function can be expressed as the sum of even and odd function. Right? So this simplification because here f of minus x, here f of minus x cancel. f of x by 2 plus f of x by 2, it becomes f of x only. So that is the way of expressing the function as the sum of even and odd function. But sir, what about even function divided by odd function? Or odd function divided by even function? Or odd function by odd function? Or even function by even function? So otherwise, we have even function into odd function is there. Odd function into even function is there. Or even function into even function is there. Or otherwise, odd function into odd function is there. So what to do here? It is very simple, just like plus minus. You can observe plus into minus, what happens? Plus into minus, what we will get? Minus. Minus into plus, what we will get? Minus. Plus into plus, you will get plus. Minus into minus, you will get plus. Minus into minus, you will get plus. That means, two odd functions multiplication, you will get an even function. Two even functions multiplication, you will get an even function. Odd into even, you will get odd. Even into odd, you will get odd. At the same time, here also the same discussion. At the same time, even function plus even function, we can say it is an even function. Odd function plus odd function, we can say is an odd function. Whereas, even function plus odd function or even function minus odd function, we can say whether it is even or odd or neither even nor odd, we can say. So, next if you come to the another discussion here, you know f of minus x is equals to f of x then we are saying the function is an even function now differentiate it what about its differentiation its differentiation f dash of minus x into inner function differentiation minus 1 is equals to f dash of x then what we are getting f dash of minus x is equals to minus f dash of x f dash of minus x we are getting minus f dash of x so if f is an even function 
its differentiation is odd function f is an even function then its differentiation is an odd function okay you can check another one f of minus x is equal to minus f of x then we say the function is an odd function come on differentiate it its differentiation f dash of minus x into minus 1 is equal to minus f dash of x both sides minus cancel we are getting f dash of minus x is equal to minus f dash of x that means if f is an odd function its differentiation is sorry it becomes a plus because minus minus cancel if f is an odd function its differentiation is an even function right so before going to discuss a few more problems i hope so everyone know about this particular idea integral part of minus x we can write minus integral part of x if x is an integer integral part of minus x we can write minus integral part of x if x is an integer at the same time integral part of minus x we can write it as minus integral part of x minus 1 if x is not an integer at the same time i hope so everyone know integral part of x plus k we can write it as integral part of x plus k when k is an integer integral part of x plus k we can write integral part of x plus k when k is an integer right so based on this type of information just i want to discuss a few questions on this See the first question is like this f of x is equals to f of x is equals to logarithm of a minus x divided by a plus x. So what about this function? This is an odd function or even function we have to check. Okay, find out f of minus x. f of minus x is equals to logarithm of in place of x we have to write minus x. Then we will get a plus x divided by a minus x. Next what I am doing, observe here. This is equals to logarithm of a minus x divided by a plus x whole to the power of minus 1. Yes? Now this minus 1 will come forward. So we can write minus of logarithm of a minus x divided by a plus x. Now we got the information this is equal to minus f of x. Array f of minus x we got minus f of x. So we can say this function is an odd function. At the same time another information f of x is equal to another question I can say. f of x is equal to log of mod x plus root of x square plus 1. What about this function? This function is an even function or odd function we ought to say. Come on, find out f of minus x. f of minus x is equal to logarithm of modulus of minus x plus root of x square plus 1. Now I can write this one as logarithm of root of x square plus 1 minus x. Right? What I am doing, observe here. Multiply with root of x square plus 1 plus x. Divide with the same root of x square plus 1 plus x. Can you say what about the simplification of the numerator? The numerator simplification. x square plus 1 minus x square. x square x square cancel. We are getting logarithm of 1 by square root of x square plus 1 plus x in modulus. Right. So this we can write it as logarithm of x plus root of x square plus 1 whole to the power of minus 1. Now that minus 1 will come forward that is equals to logarithm of modulus of x plus root of x square plus 1. Right? So that is nothing but minus f of x. Or f of minus x is equals to we got minus f of x. So we can say the function is an odd function. Right? So let's see another question here. The question is given in this way. f of x is equals to x into a to the power of x plus 1 divided by a to the power of x minus 1. He is asking about this function is an odd function or even function. Come on find out f of minus x. Yes, f of minus x is equals to minus x into a to the power of minus x plus 1 
divided by a to the power of minus x minus 1. Wherever x is there in place of x, I return minus x. Now this is equals to minus x into 1 by a to the power of x plus 1 divided by 1 by a to the power of x minus 1. Now that simplification we will get minus x into 1 plus a to the power of x divided by 1 minus a to the power of x. If you take minus a common we will get x into a to the power of x plus 1 divided by a to the power of x minus 1. That is the given function what we got. So f of minus x is equal to we got f of x. So we can say the function is an even function in that case. Let's see one more example here. The function now given as f of x is equal to 1 plus 2 to the power of x whole square divided by 2 to the power of x. He is asking about this function. Same you can check f of minus x is equal to 1 plus 2 to the power of minus x whole square divided by 2 to the power of x. Right? 2 to the power of minus x because wherever x is there in place of x we all write minus x now this further simplification we can write 2 to the power of x plus 1 divided by 2 to the power of x whole square by 2 to the power of minus x i hope so everyone followed nothing i did here 2 power minus x can be written as 1 by 2 to the power of x now this further simplification we can do it as 2 to the power of x plus 1 whole square divided by 2 to the power of 2x into 2 to the power of minus x. Now we can write this one as 2 to the power of x plus 1 whole square divided by 2 to the power of 2x into 2 power minus x it becomes 2 to the power of x which is nothing but f of x. So we got f of minus x is equal to f of x that's why that function is said to be an even function. Let's see one more example here. The function is given here like this, h of x is equal to f of x minus f of minus x divided by f of x plus f of minus x. What can you say about this function? If you observe directly, we can say the answer. Yes? We can say or not answer directly? Yes, we can say. The reason is, numerator is an odd function, denominator is an even function, so odd function by even function, you will get an odd function. So no doubt, it is an odd function. Okay, if you want to check, we can check it. H of minus x, find out. H of minus x is equal to f of minus x minus f of x divided by f of minus x plus f of x. Now numerator, if you take minus a common, then we will get f of x minus f of minus x divided by f of x plus f of minus x. Therefore, this function is nothing but h of x. So, we got h of minus x is equals to minus h of x. That's why the function is said to be an odd function. So, this is one more question here. The question is given in this way. f of x is equals to 2x into sin x plus tan x sin x plus tan x divided by 2 into integral part of x plus it is greatest to integer function. Right? So integral part of x plus 21 into pi divided by pi minus 41. So that is the information given regarding that particular question. He is saying when x is not a multiple of pi, when x is not a multiple of pi, what about that function? Right? So, what I am doing here is, this first of all, I will try to simplify this function. 2x into sin x plus tan x divided by 2 times integral part of x by pi right x by pi plus 21 minus 41 yes now further we can write it as 2x into sin x plus tan x 
sin x plus tan x divided by 2 times integral part of x by pi plus 21 you will get as I told when it is an integer we can write outside 2 into 21 is equals to 42 42 minus 41 you will get 1 so that is the simplification of the given function this is the function given we have to check about this function is odd function or even function when x is not a multiple of pi because when x is a multiple of pi what happens when x is a multiple of pi it becomes 0 sin pi 0 tan pi also 0 it becomes 0 is asking when x is not a multiple of n my pi now check it f of minus x i am finding f of minus x is equals to minus 2x into sin of minus x plus tan of minus x you know tan of minus theta is tan theta divided by 2 times integral part of minus x by pi plus 1 so sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin theta tan of minus theta is equal to minus tan theta so if you take minus common and cancel this numerator becomes 2x into sin x plus tan x no objection with the numerator I hope so everyone followed about the numerator now I am discussing about the denominator as we told integral part of minus x integral part of minus x we can write it as minus integral part of x minus 1 when this is not an integer this is not an integer yes now you can observe x is not a multiple of n pi or when x is a multiple of pi then only pi pi cancel then only there is a possibility of getting an integer he is saying x is not a multiple of pi that's why this is not an integer that information we have when it is not an integer we can write this one so this problem changes as 2 times minus integral part of x by pi minus 1 we can write plus outside 1 is there you can keep it like that now this is equals to 2x into sin x plus tan x divided by it becomes minus 2 times integral part of x by pi minus 2 plus 1 it becomes minus 1 now if you take minus a common so minus 2x into sin x plus tan x divided by 2 times integral part of x by pi plus 1 whether you observed or not we got the same function which is nothing but minus f of x so f of minus x we got minus f of x so the function is said to be an odd function so one more question last question of this type so the question is given in this way he is saying if f is an even function the information is given as f is an even function Find the real values of x such that f of x is equals to f of x plus 1 divided by x plus 2. Function is an even function given. Function is an even function and f of x is equals to f of x plus 1 divided by 2 x plus 2. Then he is asking what are the values of x. Okay, observe here. What is an even function? f of minus x is equals to f of x. Then the function is said to be an even function. But that is given in the question as f of x plus 1 divided by x plus 2. That is the information given. It is a previous year's question. So now from this I can write minus x is equals to x plus 1 divided by x plus 2. That is one possibility minus x must be equal to this one or other possibility is x is equal to x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 right so if you solve these two equations you will get the values of x or not so here two values of x you will get here also two values of x you will get that's all that is about the discussion okay so next class we are going to discuss about few more ideas okay bye bye